the sun um, to Denver. So two weeks ago, whoops, that got a little bit, but still fine. Um, we made this card. <clears throat> and so I will draw after the after the video. I forgot to do that beforehand and let you know who won that card. Okay. My cat has decided to come see me. So what I, what reminded me of that was everybody that comments on this video will be in the drawing next week to win this card. So let's get to stamping. So this is Mossy Meadow. And this is a distinctive stamp. So if you don't know what that means, um, it has light and dark on the stamp without you having to do anything. So it gives that nice shading. Um, I'm going to do the sentiment at the end without you having to do multi step stamping, which I love. And then this is Calypso Coral. And we're just going to stamp. Oh, I forgot. I remember now that I did this a little bit different. Let me grab my cleaner. So I can clean this off and we'll try again. So when I first looked at this, I'm like, well, I don't like that long stem coming down from that. So I just took it and inked up the flower and maybe just a tiny part of the stem. And that way you can, I don't know if I can do this. There. You can hang it off of that without that long stem. And I just like that better. And look at the the difference there. The, I don't know what you call it, texture, depth. That's all from one stamp, inked ones. I just love these distinctive stamps. So now we need another flower over here. And it might touch the first one. Maybe I can angle it just a little bit. So it just barely touched it. And then we'll put our sentiment there at the bottom, back in the mossy meadow. And I don't need this because this is not a photopolymer. And something I like to do with the sentiment stamp because it may not be on my block straight. The label may not be exactly straight. I like to just test it out. So I'll put that what I think is straight and see. Not too bad. It's pretty straight. So we'll see if I can do that on camera. Hey, that turned out pretty good. Pretty amazing. All right. That's, oh no, we're gonna stamp the inside. I forgot. I forgot. Let's stamp our inside. So I did the little flower. Grab a couple of more blocks because I forgot about the inside. So in this, there's just a, a little flower. So we'll use that. And we'll need our stamp and pierce mat back. And I just uh, use the little two leaves. So we'll just put those there. And we don't want a green flower. So we'll bring our Calypso Coral back. And just put our flower right there. I can't remember if I put the insides. I did. So there's some little dots. These little dots. I don't know if they're supposed to be the insides of the flower or what they're supposed to be. But I used them as the insides to the flower. So I did a few times to kind of fill it in. Stamped off a couple times. All right. Now that's all the stamping we're going to do. Clean this up so I don't get my hands in it. And now we're ready to put it all together. 
get all of our pieces. And I also used, let me grab this embossing folder real quick because it's right here below me. This is the Pretty Flowers embossing folder. So I thought it was good to go with this flower from the pomegranate. So let's take, I already lost this again. Let's, so this is some Mossy Meadow. Again, all the dimensions will be on my blog after this. We'll just use our seal. Put this in the middle. And then I'm actually going to adhere this to my um, embossed piece first because that will tell me where I want to put the ribbon around the bottom. So because it's embossed, I'm going to use my liquid glue, which seems to have gotten a little clogged up. I don't think that'll work. So we're going to put this towards the top. Yep, make sure it's facing the way I want it to. And then this is our white crinkle ribbon. This is a very versatile ribbon because you can use it as it is, like I'm doing. That's just the white. Um, you can color it with blends. You can stamp on it. Um, you can spritz now I've lost whether I did that the right way. So if if you don't know, if you want your knots to lay across like this, then you make sure you're crossing the same leg over each time. So I'm taking this left one and crossing it over the right. If I can get this picked up. And now that same piece is on the right-hand side, so I'm going to cross it over the left. <clears throat> and that will make your knots go like this instead of turning sideways. So just in case you didn't know, a little tip for you. All right, let's, I'm going to scoot it over on this side just because something different. And then it kind of balances out the sentiment. Let me trim that off. <clears throat> And now I think I put, yeah, I put this green part on dimensionals and I forgot that this time. So we'll put this on with dimensionals. So we'll do one in each corner. And one in the middle so it doesn't sag. <clears throat> They're not cooperating tonight. All right, so that whole piece will be up on dimensionals this time. And then all we need to do is put our inside in. And you could use any sentiment with this. And there you go. All done. So it's a real simple card, but it turns out really pretty, I think. I love the colors. <clears throat> and like I said, I love these distinctive stamps. So again, this is something you can get um, free with a, a $300 order. Celebration is still going on for this month. Um, there's a couple of things. Last I saw, hippos are still available. I think this paper is gone now. I need to go and mark this up so I know for sure. Those are gone. That should still be available. Um, we're going to use this um, stamp set tomorrow night with our cards. As far as I know, those are still available. 
These, I think, are gone also. The tree lot dies, if I remember right, are gone. No, that paper may not be gone. I think it was just they were waiting for no, more stock to come in. So I think this is going to be available. If it's not now, I think it will be. But the tree lot dies are gone. So hopefully you got those because they are adorable with that camper. And then <clears throat> this paper may have been available, but unavailable, but I think it is now. And then this is the one we used um, tonight. So here's some other um, examples with that. And then if you decide you want to join um, Stampin' Up! and be a part of my team, then you'll get this planner again, along with the other stuff you get. So when you join, a starter kit is $99. You pick out $125 worth of products. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you got them, buddy. Um, for $99. And then you also, in celebration, they always give you something extra. And so right now it's this planner that comes with paper and stickers and the planner and a stamp set. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Um, there are some new, it's been crazy at work, so I haven't had a chance to really look. And I've been busy in the evenings getting ready for class and getting ready to, to um, go to my niece's wedding this weekend. Um, but there are some new celebration items because some of these um, ones have sold out. They've put some new um, celebration items. So there are things out of like the annual catalog that they're going to do a celebration. So I'll get that posted so you can see what those are. And then I believe it's tomorrow and Friday are tax-free days in Arkansas. So I will be placing an order tomorrow night. Um, I will post what is tax-free in Arkansas because each state has different things. Um, it's often adhesive. So it's supposed to be like school supplies are tax-free, getting ready to go back to school. Um, so a lot of times it's adhesive. Sometimes it's markers and paper. It, it seems to vary. Um, so I'll post that also so you can see what's available. So if you want um, to take advantage of tax-free, um, let me know before tomorrow night because I'll be placing an order tomorrow night to take advantage of that. Okay, I think that's all that I needed to tell you. I didn't have a chance to print out any flyers to actually show you, but I will post them so that you can go see what is available. All right, I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will get on my blog and get the dimensions to this posted. I will draw for the card we made two weeks ago and get that winner posted so you know who's won that. And I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.